Hello, this is Chris from Riding Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best Chinese commuter scooters on the market. The bike in question is a Nico Alex 1. It's a 125cc Euro 4 scooter. It comes in a 125cc with an output of 8 horsepower. Now I'm not 100% sure how accurate that is. I tested the Lexmoto Diablo just after this one and that's supposed to be 8.6 and this bike was considerably faster. Now there's some nice features on this bike, it is very very comfortable to ride and it will be good in any sort of weather conditions because your majority of your body is covered by screens and panels and whatnot. It comes with LED rear lights and some really bright front headlights and it also has a side light. You can turn off the headlight but you can't turn off the side light for Euro 4 spec. The other thing with this is it is Euro 4 spec, that means it has to have combined braking. So when you pull your back brake, 25% of the pressure goes to the front. It has a digital speedo and digital rev counter. Now the clocks on these are really, really nice. Um, this is loosely based on, I think it's a Honda X Max and it is one of the best Chinese commuter scooters you can get in my personal opinion. It comes with a 14 litre tank and it should do around 80 miles to the gallon. The other good thing about this bike is it is very good for taking two people. There's a hell of a lot of space and you wouldn't have to worry about um, cramped conditions. design. The bike is based on a Honda X-Max I believe. Um, Lexmoto do something very similar which is the Lexmoto Chieftain 125 and I think that bike is pretty much 90% the same as this one. So with this bike they have gone for uh, out and out comfort. So you've got the big screen that covers your face, um, you've got all of the panels underneath that will cover your legs and you've got ample room underneath the seat for at least two helmets and a little bit of extra space. Now I know that you can get a full metal um, rear 
carrier for this so you can get a very large top box as well but you will lose that rear pillion backrest Comfort. This bike is designed for comfort of a commuter. So it comes in with rear wheel at 13 inches, front wheel at 14 and it has a massive amount of space underneath the seat. Also you can buy a back rack for this uh, which they are a bit expensive at £130 but they are proper cast iron racks. And you can also put a really heavy top box on that. The weight on it is 146 kilos with a uh, wet mass. Even though it is a one of the heavier 125 scooters, it is really good at handling the road and I didn't have any problems with it at all. So this bike is designed for comfort as I said, it's got that front screen to protect you from the weather and your legs can also be protected by all the panels at the bottom. If you decide to take a pillion, it has a pillion rear backrest and is uh, a large comfortable seat. The one thing to note is if you do decide to uh, get the rear rack, you will have to uh, remove the rear uh, backrest for the pillion passenger. Cost of riding. The bike cost £2,195 plus £100 on the road. On the road covers tax for your first year, half a tank of fuel, L plates and your number plate. After your first year the tax will be £20. And to fill this bike is 14 uh, litres so that's somewhere in the region of £16 I think it is. On £16 you should be able to get 300-ish miles. It comes with two years warranty and it, the insurance should be somewhere in the region of £350 to £500. There's a lot of things to can take into consideration when uh, working out insurance and this is a very rough estimate. Other things that to consider is obviously you need a helmet, a jacket is a must and gloves is a must. I would recommend getting some hard sided boots as well. So thank you for watching my video and hopefully it's given you something to consider when you next buy your commuter bike. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated to all my latest content. If you've got anything to say about the bike, about my videos or about what you would like to see next please comment below. All bikes in these videos are uh, given to me by Cheap Bikes or Us. So if you've got any uh, motorbiking needs, give them a ring. But as always, ride safe.